Hey guys, welcome to our random Friday afternoon live. It's a paper release. We have a JRV paper release. We have 11 new papers that can be used for home decor and to elevate your home and make it look even better. Some fine art, some fun decoupage. So we're gonna show you all of the new release as well as do some thrift flips. They're actually yard sale flips. I found these frames for between 25 cents and I think I paid a dollar for this one. This morning, I stopped real quick on my way back to the chiropractor and we scored big. So super excited. If you guys are here on Facebook, if you would hit that share button, it helps us out a ton. And then comment with any questions. Zeb, do you want to just go up and show yeah, them? Yeah, I'm going to show the them real quick. I think you got them all separated out though. Sorry, so I'm gonna, I'm, I was just looking through it trying to If we get, there's 11 new it. ones. If I show you one twice, I'm sorry. Okay, and we've peeked out, we've sneak peeked out a couple of these. But this is a fun fall paper that we've got. Lots of designs. These are old postcards that we've put on here. They'd be so cute on the IOD frames. You can cut them down to fit. This is a boy carving a pumpkin. You know, lots of harvest style picks. And then this one says best wishes for Thanksgiving. I kind of wonder, can I see that real quick? I wonder if I can fit in this three by five, that one on the bottom. The one on the bottom, maybe. Yeah, I think it will. So I'm going to use this for our first little thrift flip. I picked this one up for 25 cents a yard sale this morning. It is a solid brass uh, hand polish and lacquered frame. So all you coastal folks, this one's for you. You can thank Debbie Beard for this one because she's like, guys, I need some seashells Dave like we have the butterfly paper with all of the butterflies and the moths on it. Kind of like a scientific butterfly print. This is a scientific seashell print. Um, and we're going to be putting this in a couple different frames too, I think. Some of um, these frames will be for sale on Saturday on the thrift hall. And some of them will not be for sale until next week because they're next they're, Anything that I buy today will not be up until the following um, thrift hall. Here's another one for the coastal people. Although I feel like this can work in art too. Just if you want to like put this in a bathroom or frame it in like a little girl's room, whatever you want to do with that. Um, but this is half of our retired mermaids one yes and we had another print that wasn't as popular so we took the the popular the three sisters here um these sirens and made made this one just a whole i asked sheet. debbie which one was her favorite and so that's the one we picked because there were two sides to that paper all right so these are north pole santa cookies that one's so This cute. one's actually a misprint. The design on the ones you'll get goes all the way around. Um, but this one here, I left it black and white because I want to come through and watercolor it. Um, it. I think it looks good black and white. Uh, I think it'd be cool framed up by, uh, you know, where Santa's going to get his cookies. It is kind of specific, but you also do get these do two really cool my... reindeer. If you don't want to do anything with the North Pole or Santa cookies, you could just take the reindeer and do something cool with those and decoupage them and paint them up. You want to show my first little? First little first one. First thrift flip oh, done. Look that. that looks like a uh, really nice piece of art that you just painted and put in there, like a print. Now, can you show them? I know for sure what I want to do with this one. Can you show yes. them the one that I like to cut in half? Yes, this is one of Jamie's favorites. What is that one even called? And based off of what's selling on the website, this is just called Cottage by the Road. Cottage by the Road. This one, every time I frame it, people are like begging to buy it. So it's if you just, are a reseller, you're going to need to buy this in like multiples because you're going to put it in frames in your booth and it's going to sell. You can split it in half and do two five by sevens with one print. So it's a really good value. I also like it as the whole print. It's also good not to split in half, yes. but I'm just saying. But the colors are like a great French country neutral that also work with a farmhouse vibe if you need to add some art to what you got going on in your house and your decor. So I'm gonna, for whatever reason, back in the day, they thought it was real great to have frosted glass. So I'm just gonna remove that. I don't think I'm gonna do the glass. All right, let me see if I can get these three. Okay, there's that. Print. I might have to put it behind it. We also it have another out. pastoral print. We had one last time around. And this one, we, you guys have seen this. We've showed it a couple times, teased it out. But this one's also great. Um, just really good high-end archival inks on all of these. If you don't want to decoupage them, 
we are using actually probably I'd say 70% of these rice papers are just going into frames. Yeah. They, I mean, us. they can be decoupage, but you could do both. And if you guys are working on Christmas presents, like now's a really good time to stock up on frames and then you could get Christmas presents done ahead of time. I mean, who doesn't want a nice piece of art for their house? For the spring release, we had the floral print. The botanicals? And this, the, yeah, the botanicals, the five botanicals. And these ones here are botanicals with birds. So th we've got three of these. Um, this is called birds and roses. Those are like rose petals that are about to fall apart there. Any large pastorals? This release is just the A4 papers. We will have another release we, with some larger prints. We've had prints. trouble sourcing the larger paper um, at a price that's affordable and that could also be decoupaged. So we're we working should say on the that large. Stuff. We should say the large um, rice paper because we yeah. do have our our larger full size decoupage papers. Yeah. We do have the tissue paper. If you're still interested in the larger ones, there's still a full run of those. I think there's like 35 papers. Yeah. We need to, we do need to come up with a large pastoral in those. That would be good for and the next one. And then we have release. these, these are, these are hummingbirds. I forgot to talk about those. And then we have these, uh, these various forms of, uh, Robins Actually, that looks, do you think that looks okay with the frosted glass sip? Yeah, you can see it good. Okay. So there's two of them next to each other. And I think these are going to be great paired in, uh, or framed up in a trio. Or if you just want to cut out the individual birds, also fun. I love the birds because they can be very like cottage, French country, but you pair those with a brightly painted frame and you can boho those up and do like, there's like a myriad of things that you can do with them. So these are kind of fun. I think I'm going to have to show people how to use these ones before they really catch on and take off but these are old cheese molds when they used to come in like wood cases and so i've got side side and then you got a front and a back and a front and a back these were extra because i had the space so i just throw them on you can use them wherever you want but i'm going to be we haven't done it yet but i'm going to be tea staining these oh this is non-glared glass it's not frosted i actually like that it doesn't have glare yeah that's nice thanks debbie but yeah, I plan on tea staining these and using them on all kinds of totes and little boxes and just. Debbie I'm, wants to know. I might make a whole cabinet. Or not Debbie. Anna wants to know how they would do in a window. I don't know if they would fade. I haven't. They're archival. Are inks. you thinking about the sun or are you thinking about hanging an antique window in it with. I do know if you apply too much heat with like the iron on there that it will like deepen and almost burn the rice paper itself. But the ink is not having a problem. Yeah, I don't know if she means, um, I don't know if she means like in the sun or just putting them on a window. You could definitely put them on a window and decoupage them. So I think I showed this one on a Waste Not Wednesday on a tote a couple of weeks ago. Um, but this one made the final cut too. Same concept, cut these out, and then you've got two sides for the labeling and the, uh, the graphics there, and then a back and a front. I'm not saying that nobody else makes them, but I'm just saying I haven't seen cheese labels for the cheese boxes. Nope. And I love them. And how cute is it to find like little totes and little crates and decoupage? We're actually going to do- Was that 11? I think I showed all of I them. I think you did show all of them. <laughs> Can you do that little tote and show them that while I'm finishing Yeah, I'm not piece? even going to, let's do this one. Cause I think I did- I think the craft the, one will work best Yeah, I think I did one. the Richland one last time. So this is just a little thrifted tote. I think we paid like a dollar for it at the thrift store. It's going to be in next. Um, I want to make sure the sticky side's out because I got to clean that. It's going to be in Saturday's thrift haul. We did pre-record Saturday's thrift haul. So you're going to get both Seb and I on it. And it's a good thing we um, pre-recorded it because it is huge. It is a huge thrift haul. And Even it would without, have taken us an hour and a half if we were responding to comments. Um, it still took us like an hour and 12 minutes. Yeah, it's a big thrift haul. How long do you think it will be before the LG large form will be? I don't know. Maybe another month or so. It really just when depends. When the kids go back to school and we have more time. Yeah. On, honestly, like if I can find a wholesale source for papers, that's the big kicker. Yeah, we've got to find it. Because if I can't get the How paper at a good enough price, then it's way too expensive to print it. And I can't give you guys a good enough price. And it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Oh, let me go show them close. 
two projects done. Okay. I'm gonna, these ones I like the color that they are, so I'm gonna go ahead and just frame these out. That turned out so good. And then I'll get started painting. I just don't wanna mess up the ones that don't need painted. So I'm thinking I can probably do two five by sevens with this one. Yeah, if I do it just right. So the idea is, cause we pass up like hundreds of frames every week. We're trying to save all the frames at the thrift save store. Save all the frames. Turn them into like a gallery wall with a bunch of these frames would be so cute. Well, and we have a couple papers from last release. The, uh, you the can cow's call me print. Me. You've got Marie Antoinette and Georgiana that are both like really kind of elegant. You've got the five um, botanical prints that look good framed out. So we're trying to give you guys some options here. All right. Just making sure that what I'm print cutting is what I actually want. Okay, I'm gonna do this because then I'll be able to have a whole bird on the other one. And then I'll get started painting frames. So this isn't quite long enough. Half my label is going to get cut off, but I'm not going to sweat it. Well, not half, a, th a third of it, a quarter. No, as long as the main part's showing, that's the best. No, I'm not painting this because I want a little bit of that wood to come through. So we'll see if we can get that too, because the rice paper. Well, I usually you paint it when you want a nice, crisp, bright image, but you yeah. want this one to look aged, so that's why I wouldn't paint it. If you do, yeah, if you do a bright color underneath, that's going to show through. If you do white, it really brightens up all the colors and everything. Okay. Okay. Tammy says, I'm always looking for something different to put on my corner ladder shelf in the living room. Such a cute idea. It would be like if you love the birds, you could just take the bird paper papers and make some cute oh, that art. Needs mixed. And it's an inexpensive way to elevate your space. Oh, I don't think we even said the price. These are three ninety five each. Oh yeah, they're three ninety five <laughs> each. And you know, if you if you get something set up the way you like it, then when we come out with new paper releases for you know, if you bought three or four sheets to update your area, you wouldn't break the bank. Do you seal over these? Yes. Yeah. So if you put them on a tote, we use uh, the liquid patina is what Zeb's using, and that's how you um, decoupage them. And that also is the sealer. So we've got these birds, one half. We're going to get that other half going. Little... The nice thing about this rice paper is that it lays down super, super flat. We haven't had too many problems with bubbling on these at all. No, it lays down much flatter. That's why we're trying to find the rice paper in the larger sizes because the, the tissue paper does well, but it, the rice paper is like the Cadillac of decoupage like it's so good all right so that's let me sh i don't know if you can even appreciate how flat this is going to be but no bubbles right on there as it dries it's not going to bubble and that's on like once that dries that'll be on there i'll sand this edge where i cut it didn't cut it straight and we'll be finished with that Lindsay got her happy mail thanks for sharing Lindsay. If you guys didn't know, we pick two people every week, and if they've shared on Facebook, because that's where Facebook keeps track of shares, then we send them something free in the mail, and it varies. Sometimes it's slightly damaged paint, sometimes it's decoupage paper, sometimes it's stencils, um, and this week we're picking four on Saturday, so don't miss the live, because we're gonna, we already announced it in the pre-recorded video. We've got four share winners, because we missed um, the week before, and so we, want, we had to get caught up. Lori says she loves the labels. Yeah, the labels are going to be good, I think. And I want to do more. Like, I, we only had enough time to get two out because I really, I, I, I literally had an old cheese box with this on there and digitized it and cut the, the wood out of the label or the label so, out of the wood picture. <laughs> I don't know how I want this. What I'm thinking is you can help me design some stencils on Monday. We'll do some cheese box. So I'm, I'm working on my next stencil release that should be out the end of 
August. I was actually supposed to get my designs in today and I messaged my manufacturer and I'm like, I'm so sorry. All right, this one cut off some of the birds a little bit because of the frame, but still pretty cute. I'm wondering if I can trim this down and just bring that top bird down a little bit. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Sorry. Just thinking out loud over there. Thinking out loud. I'm just trying to decide which one to bring in. I think I'm gonna... Hopefully I don't cut too much off. We got that one, and this Richland has some color to it. Oh, that's better. So if you can imagine that label on the end of this. And also, I'm not tea staining these, but you could totally do that. You could you could even use like some really way way watered down DIY paint, stain them, let them dry out, and then decoupage them. And I think that would work really good. So this where we're gonna do a sideways one. I can put these on there. So this is one paper that I put together. It's like blurry. Sorry. So if I can I'll get focus it to... in on it in a minute. Zeb will focus in on it in a minute. Sorry, like focus in on a face and then the camera gets confused. All right. What time is the live Saturday? So the live on Saturday is 830 Mountain Time and it's actually going to be pre-recorded. So on Facebook, it'll just go up like a regular video. But we did film it live. We are throwing, we forgot to say a few things. So there's going to be a few commercial breaks with, that we're throwing in there. But otherwise, it's live. We didn't edit it down. It's just the random things that we say. All right. Next up, I'm going to paint some frames. So I want to do these with the seashells. Do you have any dark paint over there? Um, I've got skeleton key. I've got weathered wood. I'll show you these all when we're. Um, other than that, I've got like. Weathered wood is perfect. I was thinking for the seashells. Making a little mess here. Hello, Val from London. Zeb and I were just talking about our next trip to England. We, we've decided we to go we're in gonna, October. We're decided we're going to go. Jamie can't remember. There's like something she's got to do in October that she can't remember. And we can't find it on the calendar. And now it's like hurting her brain. But I'm like, I swear somebody said something was happening in October. And I was like, shoot, we were going to go to England. But I can't remember what it was. You could use a glass for cutting the pattern. Um, you can, but I use just the back paper. So I don't get anything on the glass. I actually do like this sideways one. I think not this one. Sorry. I like this frame. I think that's cute. Okay, let's frame it up. We should have brought more things to decoupage. But I the know. problem is we're like, we finished all the things for this week already that we're going to the shop. So... This is not a pretty frame. This is like a paper wrapped frame. So what I might do, I've got all those MDF scraps. I might make up a few boxes and just, we'll just sell them raw. And if you guys want to do like a cheese box kit, if I get time this fall, I'll put some of those together. In all your spare maybe, time. Maybe as soon as you're done remodeling the cottage and fix my dryer vent. Oh yeah, that darn dryer vent. And clean the, clean the freezer out in the Finish basement. cleaning the barn in the basement and... You know, all these things. So I'm flying out today to my niece Willow's wedding. Zeb is going to be back here taking care of the animals and the shop. And, and the kids that aren't going. And the kids that aren't going. Um, so he will be on the live video on YouTube responding to yeah. comments. Ivy will be time. with me. She's going to be dropping links. Um, and then I'll be, I'll be there chatting it up. So if you got like technical questions, paint Q&As, let's do it. If you guys are wondering where you can pick up these products, they are available at jamierayvintage.com. Jamie will probably be at the wedding reception by then, but who knows? You never know. Last time, my sister Deborah and my sister Renee thought it was so funny that they were watching the live video, but then they were with me. And I didn't realize what they were doing. I'm like, why are you taking a picture of me? They took a picture of them with me while they were watching me on TV. Because my sisters like to tease me. I mean, what's a baby sister for if you can't tease them? Yep. Although your baby sister, Maddie, does not enjoy being teased. No. Well, here's the thing. I, Maddie was five when I moved out. No, four. She was four when I moved out. And 
She's and and Ty Ty's a pretty big tease, but she was still small when Ty moved out. So she didn't Abe, get teased enough. Our brother Abe is not really a so tease Barbara at can all. It. Barbara is real good with handling the teasing. In fact, she plays along real well. So Lindsay says, <laughs> "Can I put them in a frame without decoupage?" Yes. So all those frames I just did, I didn't decoupage. You don't have to take. Yeah. You don't have to decoupage. Like I think that's the nice thing about the rice papers is you can use them for decoupage, but then you can also just use them as art. They do have like rice fibers in them and the, the, you can see them, but I feel like it just adds character to the, uh, the print. I don't know what I'm going to Cause a lot of times part. you're like, like your, uh, oil frames and stuff or oil paintings, they were painted on canvas. Corey says that he's cleaning and we're on all three TVs in the house. Nice. And he loves the paper. <laughs> the papers are good. I, I've been working on them for a couple months, d deciding which designs we really wanted to do and, you know, just making sure that they worked right with the printer and the layout. And it's been fun. I had some veto power, but I didn't really do anything. I, uh, I said, yes, that looks good or no, it doesn't. Well, look what good. happens is sometimes she'll just send me a picture. She'll be like, we need this in a paper. I'll be like, okay, I'm done. Lindsay says, awesome. I wanted to use mine as art. Yes. So these can definitely be used as art. That's why I love them. Um, because sometimes you want to do a project, but you're not really feeling like you want to spend a ton of time. These are great for that. I may distress this once it's all done. Yeah, I would. I think that I would distress it and clear wax that way distress it and then dark wax it or something you know you know what these would be also good on you know like those uh fruit boxes like apple basket or apple totes or crates or whatever yeah um the bushel is what they are a bushel of apples the boxes and they have the labeling on there that would be cool too do we have a heat gun yeah i do all right how many more are we gonna do um we can do a few more i've got which, where are you at with the birds the birds are done Oh, you got all three in there? No, I only used one paper. Oh. This I'm doing the seashells in this one, and I don't know which one I'm going to put in that one. 350 people watching on a random Friday video. Do That's you, awesome, guys. Do we want to do... Oh, like, I wanted to do these oval frames. I need a big frame for uh, the pastoral prints. Have you done those yet? Um, no, there's this frame here you could do. Okay. And I'm then, gonna I'm gonna not heat gun. I'm just gonna keep this working one is on a bigger things. frame, but the, the the inside's small. No, I want that one. Okay. okay. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Sorry, guys. Could you use a product on the rice paper art to give it a crackle finish? Um, you probably could. I oh, you know what I would do is use the texture stamp from IOD and just put ink on it and then tickle it a little bit, and then you would just use ink over the top of it to make it look like crackle. I think that would be the easiest. Um, thing to do. I'm not sure if we have the crackle stamp. We do, here. but it's like uh, it's probably buried over there. Let me see. I've honest. already done like four projects, so I know you've been cruising. I've been cruising. I was playing Vanna, and you've been painting stuff. I think I want to do these in a skeleton key. Out of all the organizing I've done, I have not organized my product cabinets. So I just used the scissors to open that can. I found like nine church keys in my drawers when we were cleaning the garage. And they're still in the garage. Because I paint in there a whole lot. <laughs> Do most of our painting here in the living room or in the kitchen. So this these frames are actually kind of like a plasticky material. They feel like more like a resin. And this DIY paint's just sticking right on here. Well, I don't have my crackle stamp here. I'll have to find the one at the shop or just open a new one. One of these days I'm gonna clean through all of my supplies and you guys are gonna get a really great de-stashing sale. Like when I all the extras Jamie has. When I can't, you you have two so sides of stuff? I know, it's all my stuff too. But when I can't find stuff, I just open a new one. That's a problem. <laughs> Is there a secret to the rice paper? I haven't had much luck. What problems have you had, Delissa? And maybe we can help you. I actually feel like it's pretty, like it's really easy compared to regular decoupage paper. It really lays down flat. So you don't want, I will say this, you can, you can brush it probably about 10, 12 times. But, but you don't want to overwork but it. But if you go crazy and you overwork it, you're just going to wear through the paper and the ink will bleed and 
smudge the design. But you don't really need to overwork it because you get a layer of uh, liquid patina on there and it's it's good to go. Like it just lays down flat. Well, Lindsay says she can't wait for that sale. Well, it'll probably happen sometime this fall because as we're moving through places to organize, we're still good. We're going to be in the barn for a hot minute. But as we move through areas to organize and clean out, we will get to the second floor. It's going to be like October. We're going to be like barn video eight. Somebody asked me why I still shop every week when I have so much stuff. And I was like, that feels very personal. I'm just kidding. I, she was feeling targeted. I was like, uh, because a lot of the stuff in the barn is like collectibles or like needs work, right? Or it's like we, we've been selling all the parts. You guys, I just listed more Corbel parts. If you guys watched yesterday's edited video um, where we did a day in the life, um, I listed a bunch of things. So if you haven't checked out the sale collection on Jamie Ray Vintage, check that out too while you're looking at papers because I added some more cutouts and whatnot that were not there before. And I'm going to keep adding to it until I get through all my stuff. Well, every time we move a box in the barn, we find more. Wood, when are we more working on the cutouts. Airbnb next? That is a good question. So next I week. will address that. I filmed a little bit in there yesterday talking about it. But we've had some other projects come up and the end of the summer, getting back to school year, things Football that practice. needed to happen, moving the kids in their bedroom. Also, the HVAC wasn't working in there. Um, and it's it was like 100 the other day and it was real hot inside. It was even hotter inside. Um, so we got that fixed. So that's back up and running. So next week we're getting back on the cottage project. We, we took like a week and a half off. Here, let me go get you a different one. Let me get you a different one. There's well, like I'm three just, over here. I'm just slapping it around a little bit. Sometimes that works. Leslie says she collects antique cheese boxes and the cheese box rice paper is good. Thank you. I think it'd be perfect. Like if you have any cutting skills and you can cut a box that fits it exactly, it'll be even better. But hopefully we'll be, oops, hopefully we'll be in the um, Airbnb next week. Yep. It's actually my fault. I was like, we have told these kids we are going to move bedrooms since Christmas. December. Like the boys actually have Christmas presents that they weren't able to oh. use because they were supposed to be for their new rooms. And so we are finishing up that probably this week, at least enough to where we can move on to the Airbnb. So we just sometimes when you don't want to do something, it's because you know it's going to be a hot mess. And as expected, moving these kids around and dealing with all of their hoarding situation, also a hot mess. Well, and also um we uh it doesn't help that we always have five or six different projects going at any given time that take various stages of priority and sometimes projects get moved back and i was like we can't move this back because i really wanted to do it before they went back to school mostly because i wanted to know what they had um clothes wise and backpack wise and it was good that we did it because jack actually needs literally nothing because he has his own clothes plus a ton of hand-me-downs that are in good condition. And I also matched up all their socks. I organized all their underwear. So I didn't have to buy any socks or underwear for Jack, any socks for Redrick. The girls have socks for back to school. Um, we found all their backpacks and stuff. I think Eliza needs a backpack, but it really helped us not spend so much money on back to school. So that was good. And I don't like to waste money on things that we don't need so oh, just a whole size what vitamins do we take <laughs> actually a whole vitamins. slew of vitamins all the vitamins someday we'll do a what's in jamie and zeb's vitamin pack but i need to be more consistent with taking them and then i feel like i can share them i'm not very good at that. michelle said i'm having an inventory with x or an issue with excess inventory as well this week she had to get caught up one of the things I do, like a little trick is like right now, I still have probably what, like four or five boxes to get through. So I've gone out. through about four boxes um, in the barn is I make myself say, OK, every week I'm going to add one box to what I'm already buying because buying new stuff is fun and I don't want to make myself miserable. So I'm going to keep shopping every week, but then I'm going to process one box that I haven't processed. And in a matter of a month or two, I will get through all those boxes. The same thing happened with the garage. Months before we ever cleaned the garage out, I started forcing myself to go through, fix things, paint things, finish things, um, 
that hadn't been dealt with. So that way, when I finally went to clean it, I had less to deal with. So same thing with the barn. We're just going to have to keep working until we get our way through. Like even yesterday, if you watch the video that we put up on Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube and Facebook, um, it was my mom's birthday and we went out to dinner. And so we knew we didn't have a ton of time. So we just did a quick little mirror project in addition to getting some stuff out of the garage. We didn't, we, what, we were there maybe at the shop, maybe three hours total. Yeah. Started to finish. But sometimes you just set a time limit and say, I'm going to work on this for two or three hours. That's how much I have. And then just get through it. Because I think sometimes we have failure to start because we can't finish all in one day. And very few people can take an entire week and do something. They have to bite it a little bite at a time. time. How do you eat? How do you eat an elephant, Zeb? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. Well, I don't eat elephants. Off topic. Do you have a place for your little sheep? Oh, I have not done that, but I was actually thinking I might do something for Christmas. So stay tuned. I have places. I actually, Delissa, don't have a ton of decor at my house. I'm actually more of a minimalist than people might assume. I have. A lot of my decor is things that I use like on top of my kitchen. giant pieces of furniture and salvage leaning up against the wall. Yeah, there's like on top of my refrigerator are like pots and pans that we use. But they're copper. They but look they're good. copper, so they're pretty. So I don't have a ton of decor, but I'll show I, you. I might do a little it, display. It can, be, it can be shown. You're going to show them. It's not organized at all. It's, well, I just threw stuff up there, so it's Zeb organized. We've been canning, so we've been using a lot of the copper. This is what she's talking about up above the fridge. Are elephants gluten-free? I would wager yes. <laughs> Jenny says, I've used rice paper on small canvas and it worked well. Yeah, it does work well on canvas as well. It lays down nice and flat. Leslie says, I'm a good mama. Thank you. I try to be. I think my kids, my kids like me. The problem is all these kids think that they're only children, every single one of them. Yeah, every now and then I have to be like, um, I'm tired. I've been working all day. You're going to need to make your own grilled cheese sandwich. Although last <laughs> night, Eliza came home from cheer. She got landed on by one she's of her flyers. She's a main base, and her flyer kept landing on her neck, and she's just exhausted and wasn't feeling good. So her dad, while I was finishing editing the video, her dad came down here and made her some nachos. She I no starting. longer. Oh, I'll make Jack a grilled cheese too. Oh, he was tired after practice. Usually I do that, but I was like, I have to get this video finished, and so Zeb stepped in. It's like a tag I team. I make some effort. bomb grilled cheese. The butter goes all the way out to the edge. Christine says she loves the copper. I'm actually going to sell some of the copper I bought in France in 2019 because I have new copper and I just only need so much. And I have been slowly going through my private well, and we collection. We were going to tin that copper and we never got around to it. Now you have pans that you've purchased that are still in good shape for cooking with. And so we've been using those. Yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot of things. That is one of the great things about doing what I do is I get to keep all my favorite things. All right, I'm going to put a second coat on here, then we'll be done with the heat gunning. Um, although you guys have been good with the Q&A time. Did you pull up any white wax or anything? I have white wax, dark wax, clear wax. I want to go get some gold wax. Okay, I'm going to, this is ready for wax, but I'm going to just put one more coat of paint on these. That way it can dry while I'm waxing this. Yeah, among the list of the before we go back to school things, like the kids and I, with the exception of Jack, went and got our eyes all checked out. Turns out Eliza's eyes are pretty messed up. Her, she's got some problems. She's with our her. kid with the, the she's, dairy allergy. She sees fine, but she, her eyes are like always trying to focus and have a trouble differentiating between like far and away. So everything is just kind of blurry. So when the doctor put the... Uh, the dilating fluid in there that makes your pupil relax. She could actually read all the numbers and the letters and stuff. He's like, and she's been getting headaches and migraines. And he's like, that's probably why, because your eyes are basically sprinting all day long and never get a break till you take a nap or go to sleep. Um, so we are, we've got a plan to help correct that. So hopefully moving forward, less headaches and things for her and that, It'll help her brain like kind of sort out, okay, I need to focus close or I need to focus far. Oh, Delissa, thanks for answering that question. Lindsay asked about the copper mugs. We carry them on our website. I don't know if we're sold out. I'll have to check if we are. I'll order more. They, there really isn't a great way to get them inexpensive just because copper is spendy. Um, but if you can find them secondhand, I have found them. 
And sometimes you can buy them like Walmart carried them for a while, but they weren't solid copper. They were like stainless. The outside was copper. The handle was brass. I do have a couple of brass handled ones that I've thrifted, but I, me personally, when I'm drinking out of the mugs, I like, um, I like all copper all the way. Copper actually has not, I can't like medically say this, but copper has some healing properties. It also will purify your water. Like a lot of third world countries stick their water in copper to help purify it. So I like to drink out of hundred percent copper, but I will check after this live video and just make sure we do have them in stock. Um, I want, you're supposed to wash them by hand, all those kinds of, I throw mine in the dishwasher and they do get heavily tarnished and I don't care. Like it doesn't bother me. I like the way they look, but if you're worried about it, then you can hand wash them and polish them and all those things. All right. I got that one done. You wash copper mugs by hand, not in a dishwasher. Not me. <laughs> mine all go in the dishwasher. Pretty much everything goes in the dishwasher. It would not get washed. Let's be honest. Somebody the other day when I was sharing my messy um, pantry, they're like, you know how that gets messy? You have to make a mess in the first place. I'm like, oh, I know. But I'm trying to get better. I've actually, you know who I've had to get on lately about keeping stuff picked up in the pantry? What, all my canning stuff's in there? Yeah, but like you have to pick stuff up. You can't leave it out because then it starts adding up and then you have no countertop. I just picked it up when I put the Costco away. I know. <laughs> I know you did because I was like, no. <laughs> I mean, the boys aren't great. Jack leaves stuff everywhere, but I spent a good amount of time cleaning that out. You know, one of these days, all these kids are going to grow up and I'm going to be too old to make messes. And you're going to be like, what? I miss all the messes. What uh, am I? <laughs> am I going to miss the messes? I, my mother is 84 years old and she will tell you right now she does not miss the messes. Delissa says she puts hers in the dishwasher. Yeah, they're great. They keep if you like your milk cold. Copper will keep your milk. It's very conductive. So. Icy cold. Sometimes you my put kids a cold still put beverage ice in, in there. It, it gets super cold. All right, I'm almost ready for mine. We're about to do this. Um, so Heather says that glasses with a progressive lens. Yeah, if they don't get better, she's going to have to get bifocals and we'll do a progressive lens because I don't think she's going to want actual bifocals at 14 years old. But she might have to for a little while if her headaches don't go away. Yeah. She's sad that she can't do contacts. Yeah, but... she can't do contacts because of it. But that'll be that'll be all right. He's, he he told her the doctor told her he's like he's like you don't need to wear them when you're doing cheer. Like you actually see okay. Like your your vision's not blurry. You're just having trouble with the focusing. I have trouble focusing, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> the only reason I'm the only reason I'm not blind is because I had LASIK. I was like 2,400 before I had LASIK, and it was life changing for me. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I went to Hoops Vision. It was actually kind of a a fun story, like a miracle story. We had saved up to pay for my LASIK. It was about five thousand dollars, and I wanted to go to Hoops because they're the best in the business. And so I messaged them and said would you do a brand deal with me? Like maybe I could get a discount. And they told me that if I would do a commercial, which they actually still haven't had me do, I, I'm waiting for them to do that. Um, if I would do a commercial, then they would do it for free. And so we were actually able to take that money and reinvest it in our business. And I got my LASIK done for free. So, and at that point, we were not as big on social media as we are now. Like I was really surprised. What about bifocal contacts? They must not make them because they said that she couldn't she, think she couldn't do contacts. Well, he said that contacts, you can only get them to focus like, he did this in front of his eyes. He's like, they only focus one direction and she needs both. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an ophthalmologist or optometrist or whatever you call those guys. Sharon says. The eye doctor. I got bifocals at age 12, walked out of the office and promptly fell off the curb. Yeah, <laughs> I think it would be hard on her, especially with doing chair and stuff. I uh, I remember after I got LASIK, I could see immediately and seeing the individual leaves on the tree. If I wore glasses before, but they couldn't correct my vision all the way because I was that blind. And it was like a miracle to me. And one of the things they told me, which is really cool, I have lots of extra tissue. So if I need to have it done again, I can without having to have PRK. 
And I've never been able to wear contacts because it's, it's uncomfortable to me. And I have sensory issues with things that are uncomfortable. And I'm not vain enough <laughs> to care enough to be uncomfortable. So I just, it never worked for me. I just wore glasses until I got LASIK. I am pretty vain. I'm not going to lie. It's just there's a limit. Like if it's uncomfortable, I don't care. I can only wear jeans for so many hours because they're uncomfortable to me. I like stretchy pants. I mean, right. Who wants to be bound up in jeans all day? Not me. I used to only wear jeans. And now I'm like, I'm like, you got those like thin, like athletic material type pants. I don't even know what to call them. I took Redrick like to Costco shorts. to buy all of his back to school stuff because he's now in adult sizes. So they have a lot of men's clothing, especially the kind that he likes to wear. It's like, do you need me to get you some jeans? He's like, ooh, grow, gross. No, no jeans. Like, what do you wear when you go camping? I might have to get him some jeans just for like, the, like sometimes you just need just, a thicker material. Just for working in the woods? Yeah. Like you don't want to wear like pants that can get snagged on the trees. So I just put white wax over that weathered wood. I'm going to wipe it back and then I will get, um, I will get a pastoral print here. Lindsay says, I can't do contacts either. Stretchy pants are life. They are They're so good. And also comfy dresses. I think Zeb's jealous every week when we go to church because he wears a suit. And I wear dresses that are so comfy I could nap in them. And sometimes I They're do. They're basically like giant t-shirts. Yeah. I'm also really into the big tent dresses. I have a designer that I follow from the UK. They're kind of spendy, but the, they're, when I say kind of, they are spendy. They're made with hand-blocked fabric from India, and it's all organic cotton. And they're these giant dresses. I only have two of them. Um, I bought one last year and one the year before, and or Odilia, one this year. One. Odelia stills the one you're not wearing every week. Yeah, my girls love them. <laughs> but every time I wear them, I always get compliments, especially from women who like to be comfortable. They're like, oh my gosh, those dresses. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Oh, wait, I wanted to dark wax these. Jeans is a staple for me. Well, I am going to look. They So they make Carhartt. Utila leggings. They're kind of spendy, but I might get a pair for winter. She's like, I need some work leggings that aren't so thin and can hold up a little bit. I know. And, and I, we were in the feed store. I'm like, what about these Carhartt leggings right here? And they literally call them Utila leggings. I'm like, they're listening to my conversation. <laughs> Most of my clothes come from Jamie Ray Vintage, Costco, or the feed store. I do go to Nordstrom to buy my um, Birkenstocks, but otherwise... I don't get out a lot to shop. It's frustrating to me to go to a store and then they have like all this weird sizing and then the stuff doesn't look good together. I don't have that kind of patience. All right. Here is my weathered frame. So this is just weathered wood and white wax over a just plain wood frame. We're going to get a print in here. I'm going to try to not touch it. Good, good luck. <laughs> Okay, should I do the, well, we did the one print. So I'm going to think I'm going to do the cow print. What is this one called? Uh, cows under the tree. I kept it simple. Did I not have, oh, there's the glass. <laughs> cows under the tree. I like it when you keep it simple because otherwise I can't remember the names. Well, this also when you dirty. go to search it, you're like looking for what to search for. You're like, what's that cow print <laughs> called? The one. Well, the first time the you freeze? named all those decoupage papers with French like, names. French names. I'm well, like, I know. I was trying to be. We were fresh. <laughs> we were fresh back from France. We were all inspired by the French names we can't pronounce. Sorry to everybody that watches this in France. I don't pronounce these right. Have I tried the Dansko clogs? You love them in cold weather. I, weather. I haven't, Susie, but I, Birkenstock makes a winter boot, and I love them. I got a pair last year that was burgundy, and so this year I think I'm going to get black because I mostly wear black leggings. Last year I had to get burgundy because they were sold out of the other colors before we went to England. They've held up really well. I only have like, I shouldn't say only, but I only have about 12, 13 pairs of shoes, which I guess sounds like a lot, but. Ridiculous. But your mom, lot. when your mom My moved mom up has here, like she, had 60. Like, she had like 100. <laughs> I have one pair of church shoes for the summer, one pair of boots that I wear in the winter to church. I have a couple pairs of tennis shoes and then 
I have a, like work shoes that I that have paint on them. So that's probably why I have so many. I have like three or four pairs of shoes with paint on them. I, I mean, since my foot hasn't grown in so long, but I usually wear shoes out before I get new ones. Like I've got, I got a pair of uh, snow boots that I wear in the wintertime. And then I have a pair of hiking boots, high top and low top that I've had for several years now um, that haven't worn out. Joyce, on, on your phone, you should be able to cast the video with app AirPlay, like Apple AirPlay, if you have an Apple phone, or um, just cast it with a little button that looks like a TV. Without being there, I can't walk you through it, but you should be able to cast it. I watch TV, like I watch all my shows on TV, whether it's Facebook or YouTube. That, Lindsay says, you can never have too many shoes. I, I feel like it, for me, when I have too many shoes, it just gets overwhelming, and then I don't, I don't wear them. I'm all about comfort, so buy less shoes. I really would like to sell Birkenstocks at my shop just because I personally love them, but have not been able to get them to have me as a retailer. For a while, I feel like it's just because they couldn't. Well, you, keep you them initially in stock. tried to sign up during like the first year of COVID and they were like, uh, they couldn't even make as many as they needed to. Yeah, they couldn't for the stay retailers up with the they retailers. had. All right, that was long. But Sorry. those are great. These these look. Those are really pretty. Really nice. Does that fo did it focus? Okay, yeah, it focused in. Yeah, if you have Apple AirPlay turned on, whatever's playing on your um. I need to trim this down. Whatever's playing on your phone, you should be able to airplay it to your TV. Berkies are comfy and good for the, the feet. Missy said, I just got my first pair of Birkenstocks and I'm loving them. Yeah, they're so good. And I don't waste them when I'm done. Like once they start looking bad, then I retire them to work shoes. It's called my work Berks. And I try really hard not to wear my good ones. Funny story. One time Buttercup was having a day. She got all bloated and I was... I was in my church shoes, so I switched to my work works because I knew I was going to get poop on them and everything. And it was Sunday, and so I dropped the kids off at church. I, I helped Zeb with what I needed to, and then I left him in the pasture, and I went to church. Guess what shoes I was wearing? Not my Sunday shoes. I showed up to church. In Here, work you guys works. See in my work works. I'm trying to not get glare. There you go. In real life, this is really good. It's just like a really... Oh, I'll bring it. I can bring it close. Oh, Tilt it up. Not sideways. <laughs> I don't know. You may have to do it. I'll go. I promise you it's good. Burks and socks. I, my, Jana said her sister can never wear them around her. Um, it's actually like in vogue to wear socks with your sandals now. In the fall, we call it socks and stocks because I'm in my Birkenstocks. My recent Birkenstocks that I love are like oiled leather. They're fun. Can you use the decoupage paper for crafts other than framing? You can use it for anything. Anything you can decoupage. We have a lot of people that do like mixed media with them and that use them for like scrapbooking. Lots and lots of Linda says uses. having more shoes to wear helps your shoes last longer because you can rotate through them. I like where you're at, Linda. Zeb doesn't have a lot of shoes because Zeb is picky. Don't let, don't let him make you think that got, he's super frugal. He I can't. got no, and it's nothing about frugal. I got big old duck feet, and so when I find a pair of shoes to wear, I stick with those. Cheyenne says it will never be in vogue to wear socks and sandals. I don't know. They're don't doing know. it here in Utah. All when the when the high schoolers and the college kids start doing it. It's usually a year later and all the moms are doing it and all the dads are doing it. And, you know, it don't like it's just go, it just goes around here. All right. So should I white wax this if I'm going to put the seashells in them or should I clear wax it? What do you think? Well, that's pretty. That's upside down, though. I know I'll have to flip it in the frame. Next. Next up.
you're just joining in here, we are working with a new JRV decoupage paper. So you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. They're the A4 rice papers. Um, we just launched 11 new um, designs today. What color paint did you use? Is that skeleton key? Skeleton key. key then I clear waxed it. Then I dark waxed it. And that's just painted, I mean, right over plastic. And it's because a lot of your frames these days are more of like a plasticky material. And even some of your vintage frames are, are uh, cast resin. Um, but yeah, it's just, I heat gunned it and it's sticking really well. I, I clear waxed it and then dark waxed it. All right, do you want to dark wax these? I think if we just straight up dark wax these and make them really dark, they'll look good with um, Here. the seashells. I got one more to do, and then I can help you. Okay. We need to distress that box, too, that we did with the craft brick. Oh, yeah. Joy says, if you live at the beach, you spend a lot of time flip-flopped or barefooted. I am in sandals a lot of the time, and so I have been working really hard to moisten moisten soften my feet they're a lot better than they were and i have a thyroid problem so my feet are not great anyways because of that and my feet are better i made it a goal to take care of them and put like socks on with lotions and stuff at night and then i have one of those like sanders for your feet <laughs> i don't know what they're called ammo pay or something Sounds, i just bought a like new a cheese grater <laughs> and it's not a cheese like grater. a power uh, electric cheese a power grater. sander that's what i use on my feet and it's, it's helping. Joyce says, I can't remember the last time I wore a closed shoe. Yeah, I pretty much wear them until I can't. And then every winter when, I, when it starts to warm up and I can start wearing them again, it's like a happy day in my life. That skeleton key paired with that pink in those flowers better than I thought it would. It's almost like a gray in a pink. So I'm using weathered wood and black. Is this black or dark? Dark wax to really darken up these frames. Did you use one of the bluebird ones? Do we have an extra one of those? Um, I don't know. I used one picture and I cut it into two. Oh, it's okay. I have another one here. I printed two for us. They said that was pretty. This one. Well, I think these paired with the botanical prints from the spring are going to be really good. Yeah, I kind of want to do a video where we use all the papers. So we're going to go down in the corner on this one. My feet have a Burke suntan. I don't know if your camera will pick up on this. Can you guys see my suntan? My feet are not dirty. That's my my tan line. <laughs> and that it doesn't go away in the winter. It gets lighter, but it doesn't go away because I wear Burks nonstop. We got to be done at some point because I have we have football starting at five and I haven't packed for my wedding that I'm going to this weekend and I fly out tonight. <laughs> all right, I'm done with dark wax. This is all over Did my I hands. Have, why do I have three ovals of glass? Oh, they use. They must have had a bunch of these frames because they used the oval as a spacer instead of the foam. Is there a minimum amount you can order for free shipping? There is no free shipping anymore, but there's flat rate shipping. Unfortunately, with shipping costs being what they are, we were losing our shirts, but you can do flat rate shipping. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the shipping is the same no matter how many sheets of decoupage you order. So 
Let's see if there's any questions. Linda says, I'm a flip. I don't like the, I have flip flops. I don't like them between my toes. I love flip flops. Got flip flops on right now. Your feet, though, were made for them. I actually, yeah, I got a huge gap between my like, big toe and my next like, toe. It's like like intentional there. Okay. These are ready if you want to do the seashells. Um, I should have moved that one bird over just a hair. It'll be all right, though. Here you go. Do you have sandpaper here? Um, around somewhere in the drawer. Do, 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 do. Does, is this dry enough, you think? That's 80. That's not going to work. Did you need me to do something with these frames? Yeah, put the seashells in them. Oh. Careful, they got black wax on them. Yeah, I, feel, I can feel it. I wiped them back. Okay, so this is the craft brick cheese box paper that Zeb did, and I'm just going to... Age it so it looks like it's been it on up. there for a minute. Yep. Bring back some of the paper underneath. Give it a little age. I'm just using 220. What you can do if you're worried about it when you're all done is put more decoupage medium or clear wax over it or whatever. Because you don't want it to look too perfect. The cheese boxes are not perfect. Do you still have the patina out? I'm going to yeah. go over it again. Once I've done it's just right dressing here. it. That brush might need a little rinse. It's been sitting for a minute. Yeah, it's good. Especially since I've kind of just dressed on these sides and kind of peeled it back a little. I'm going to seal all the way up this because there's a, definitely a line where the decoupage medium stops and it looks weird. Oh, yeah, because I gave it a different sheen. Yeah, it just like darkened up the piece. All right, now that looks a little better. Just a little bit of distress goes a long way. Why is there water all over this? Hard to say. You're cutting out those seashells. I don't know that we're getting to these frames today. I would no, say. I don't think we're going to make it to those ones. <laughs> I feel like we've. But you guys we've get got the, the idea. They got the point. These we people. decoupaged one thing and then we framed everything else with the decoupage paper. These people got to get back to the rest of their day. I'm going to arrange all the ones we have finished. I'm cleaning up my mess here. Uh, do we have another one you want to put in this metal frame? Um, is there enough of that one bird paper that I cut kind of off to the side that you could put it in there? I don't know. Uh, in Miami, we all wear sandals, and typically the boys wear the sandals with socks. Yeah, it's trendy. I'm just going to lightly distress this. I could wet distress it, but have the paper handy. This had that blue underneath. I don't know what we're going to put in it, but I'm going to finish it, and then we'll figure it out. This turned out good. The seashells. The seashells are, they look like they're kind of like duller, but when you see them in real life, they're pretty vibrant. So some of these will be available on Saturday's haul, the actual finished items. The papers are available on the website now. Um, the, the link for that should be on the top. But the actual frames we're working on will be available Saturday, and then if not this Saturday, next Saturday. Because some of these I picked up this morning, so be, they'll be on the next week's haul. 
I would just add them all, but honestly, when you guys see the size of this week's haul, you'll be like, it's okay that you left some off for the next week. So many things. Can I see the seashell ones? I'm kind of curious about how they turned out. Well, they're cute. I like it. So that's weathered wood with dark wax over the top. So they made that weathered wood really deep and dark. Yeah, it looks like a black. You should show it next to the one with white wax. Show them the difference between white wax over weathered wood and dark wax over weathered wood. Same color, dark wax, white wax. <laughs> the wax really changes what it looks like. So I want to show you guys, I have some bigger frames that I want to mat some of these smaller prints in. And I think they're going to look really cool with the big, huge, massive frame around it. I'm almost done, Zeb. Which one do we want to put in this one? Oh, you got two out of this bird one. Yeah. I'm all about stretching that dollar. I got two out of the house one, two out of the bird ones. The five by sevens, if you cut it right, you can do two. We'll have to get more small frames like this that fit that little pumpkin scene See, in look, there, that harvest scene in there that really is. well. I need to figure out which one I want to put in it. Okay. Now that my fingers are all so wet. So we used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine papers if you include the box. Where's the mermaid one? It's in there. I want to do this North Pole one, but we got to use the one that's, these are misprints. Yeah. Yeah, I can do the mermaid in here. Let me see if I can show you these without too much crazy glare. A little no. bit of glare on that one. The mermaid did not have a like a backer in it, so I don't have a. Well, I might do this. All right, let's see if I can cut this one. Sorry, guys. Talking out loud, but I'm trying to figure out. It didn't have like a piece of paper in it. So. Look at this. I'm gonna cut it down and then I can figure out the rest. Oh, it doesn't have a, like a Yeah, it didn't have it. like something I could use for a pattern. Here, what I would do is I would lay it over. I know. Oh, just. I'm just showing just trace around, is that straight? Here's tracing. Well, can, I'll do it later. Oh, you're just gonna. Oh, you just <laughs> pinched it in. I'll I'll cut that later. But look how cute the mermaids are in that one. All right, there we go. I'll fix the back. Okay, guys, you can pick up these. This one is like really shiny. That one there, yeah. There we go. You guys can pick up these papers at jamierayventus.com. If you have a local paper retailer check with them make sure they have them if they don't we're happy to ship them to you and if you like this video be sure to hit that share button give us the thumbs up and subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy bye you guys we'll see you guys tomorrow real, for a live video real quick the way you find the retailers is you go to jrv wholesale and there's a retailer map there jrvwholesale.com and there's a retailer map and you can find if they're near you or not Yep. So check that out and check with them. Make sure they have them because not every retailer carries every product. So I just want you guys to know ahead of time what to expect. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye All guys. Right. Catch you guys later.